How did you uh, get the idea of making this uh, competition and why? Uh, well, back in 2000 in the UK, um, we are, still have a massive shortage of engineers. And that, uh, students that want to get into the engineering industry it really has been under the decline for many, many years. And it's because they're not interested in maths and science. So we were thinking, well, how can we increase that interest? And at that time, they were giving free software to UK schools to design th things in 3D. So I thought, well, let's use Formula One. Let's design a, a car. Kids like cars, perhaps, they like Formula One. And then the idea just grew from there. How close is this competition to the real Formula One? Well, I always say it's like taking the whole world of Formula One and just shrinking it down into the classroom. So if you look at a Formula One team that might have 600 people employed, you've got six in a Formula One team. And they've still got different departments. So team manager, aerodynamicist, marketing, resource manager, you know, um, engineer, it could be the wheel designer. What do you think uh, the students exactly get out of this whole action? Well, because it's such a like a, what we call cross-curricular project, so many areas of the, the school learning program can be brought into F1 in schools. If you have a team of students, they can all decide who wants to do what, and through doing F1 in schools, after two years, they could perhaps find out what actually works for them. Some may say, well, I want to be the aerodynamicist, well, I want to be the manufacturing, mm -hmm. and I'm better at bringing in sponsorship, and I'm the best manager. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, do you think the connections might help you, you get during the whole competition? For the students? For the students. Definitely. Um, I mean, we've got many people now employed in Formula One through doing F1 in schools. They're connected with motorsport and automotive engineering companies, and so they've used the people and the, the, the businesses that need to support them to get jobs, definitely. Yeah. And how do you think the schools could be integrated in the, in the competition? This well, the we're situation. working on it now in the UK. After 15 years, we've now put it into the classroom so they can teach everyone in schools in the classroom. <laughs> so, for example, mathematics. You don't want to learn That's about diameter of the circle mm -hmm. or um, how fast projectiles get moved. You want to actually work and do it doing a practical physical experience. So you could actually use a Formula One wheel and learn maths using the diameter of a Formula 1 wheel and if it, how much it degrades, what percentage per lap, what would the new diameter be. And let the students work by themselves. And Absolutely, I mean, if you look at um, world, the world of employment out there, they want people who can work in a team, um, you know, can be self-motivated, can do functional skills, presentation skills, you know, people want mm -hmm. students that can think a little bit more on, the, on their own feet. So what's the development in F1 in school so far? And how do you think it will develop further on? Well now, after 15 years, we've got 44 countries, it's growing like crazy. Uh, the, the student, the level of students uh, that we're getting are getting higher and higher. Mm -hmm. The quality, as we've seen here, this is like a world finalist five years ago. <laughs> it's all going you know, to a level that I never expected to go to. What do you think is the most important aspect of uh, the competition itself? And what's really... Uh... Well, the engineering is the bit that we focus on. Um, but it's not just about becoming the best engineer, it's about being an engineer that can work together in a team with other people and, and to work out what strengths you've got. And I think from this point of view, the biggest thing that we offer is that we've got a connection to the world of automotive and motorsport and you know, potentially Formula One. So we're giving students that door opening into the, into the world of Formula One. Um, and I think students can realize from doing this that there's a chance to, to use it on their CVs to get employment. And that's what we, we, we think is the biggest thing for Formula One in schools. It's, it looks great on your CV, it looks great for companies who are interviewing you. And if you've especially done well at the national level and even the world level, then I'm sure people would, would take so you and employ you. So it's just one step for, uh, for the rest of your life? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, we've, we've, we've changed some lives, most <laughs> hopefully for the better. And yeah, we've given them opportunities to get employment. You rob us from our sleep. Please. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> now, um, What's some feedback you got from uh, from members of the different teams? Um, well, the feedback is that they love it, and, and they've also, I mean, they obviously love doing the competition. I think they, yeah, not getting too much sleep and having to work long hours, <laughs> but it helps and it benefits them um, as, a, as a person. But I think it also has made them integrate and, and give them a uh, experience in things that we would never have done before. Just having to go into a room and make a verbal presentation is not always that easy. And uh, what are your strategies to, uh, for bringing F1 in schools uh, to, the, to the public and make not interested people interested? Well, it's all about getting other 
students that perhaps are interested in Formula One to look at Formula One and, 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 and STEM subjects in a different way. So that if we introduce it to a whole classroom and somebody says, well, I'm not interested in Formula One, I said, well, why not? Because I'm not interested in engineering. But in a Formula One team, there's maybe a hundred jobs. So think about what that could do. Come and have a go, get your parents interested, try and link into businesses that might want to talk to you about giving you a job. Um, you know, just, just take the blinkers off. It's not just about engineering, it's not just about manufacturing, and it's not about Formula One. There's so many different aspects to it. Okay, thank you. All right.